Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Beautiful Nature. Perhaps one of our most familiar flowers of all, the humble common daisy can be seen flowering almost all year round. Its persistent and widespread growth, heralding the arrival of spring to our gardens, has resulted in children using these flowers to make necklaces. Each flower has a rosette with thin white petals surrounding a bright yellow center. These are supported by a single stem which grows from a group of dark green rounded leaves. Daisies come from the Old English meaning day's eye. The name refers to the way they close their petals in the evening and open up again in the dawn, marking the beginning of a new day. They are actually two flowers in one. The yellow centers floret and the petals are actually different blooms. According to a Victorian flower dictionary, the Victorians loved their flower meanings. Daisies signify innocence and children of the era would make daisy chains to wear as May Day crowns. They may be small blooms but they make up for the diminutive size in group volumes. Daisies make up almost 10% of the flowering plants on the planet. They are cousins with sunflowers. Daisies are a part of the sunflower family and grow in very similar habitats as their big yellow relatives. Soft white petals are the most iconic look that daisies are known for. But they come in lots of other colours such as yellows, oranges, reds, pinks, crimson and purple too. But not many people are aware of all these different colours that daisies come in. Each individual colour has a meaning as well. For example, purple represents dignity and success, while yellow is a symbol of friendship, blue means openness and peace, and white is associated with humility. They attract bees with their shape. Unlike poor orchids, they basically need to trick bees into pollinating them. These crucial insects just can't resist the look of daisies. Daisies can almost survive anywhere and everywhere. Daisies are in bloom most of the year and can adapt to almost any environment. They can even live high in the mountains. There are approximately 4,000 species of daisies which can differ in size, shape, color and type of habitat. They are found in every continent except Antarctica. Daisy is a herbaceous plant that can grow from 7 centimeters to 1.2 meters, depending on the species and the amount of sunlight and the habitat which they live in. The center of the daisy is called the flower head or floral disc. Though it looks like one piece, the flower head is composed of many small flowers called disc florets. They are small and have tubular shape. Ray florets form the outer part of the flower and they look like typical petals. Each ray or disc floret is an individual flower made up of the stamen, carpel and ovary. The ray florets, however, are sterile. Only the disc florets are fertile. Each carpel contains one or more ovaries which house the female reproductive components of the daisy. The stamen are the male parts of the daisy and produce the pollen that fertilizes the female parts. Within the insect world, bees are the primary pollinators and are responsible for the propagation of many types of plants and flowers, including daisies. When a bee lands on a daisy flower, it immediately seeks out nectar. In the process, it picks up thousands of microscopic pollen grains on its body. As it moves around the daisy, it deposits the pollen from the male anthers to the female stigmas. It also moves from flower to flower, repeating this procedure hundreds of times every single day. Some daisy species are annual, lasting for only one year, and some are biennial. Their life cycle ends after two years. The daisy flower is symbolic of purity, innocence, loyal love, beauty, patience, and simplicity. Daisies have been popular flowers in history, believed to be more than 4,000 years old. Daisies have a lot of medicinal properties. 
They are thought to slow bleeding, relieve indigestion and ease coughs. They are closely related to artichoke and are high in vitamin C. Ancient Egyptians used daisies to decorate their ceramic. They usually grow in grasslands, meadows, gardens, urban areas and areas near the roadsides. They prefer well-drained soil and a lot of direct sunlight. People cultivate daisies because of their simple but very attractive flowers. Unlike cultivated types of daisies, wild types easily reproduce and conquer new habitats. They are often resistant to pesticides and insects, which can work in their favour. Because of that, wildflowers occasionally act like weeds that cannot be eradicated easily. In the past, in ancient Rome, juices were extracted from daisies and were used to heal wounds. Daisies belong to one of the largest families of plants in the world, the vascular plants family. Thank you for watching this video, please like and subscribe for more content.